Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to this channel. Um, today I'm going to share a very simple and easy recipe for how to make Indian tea. Um, I know most of the people know how to do it, but there are few who don't and they really want to know it and enjoy the flavors of Indian tea. So let's begin the recipe and uh, please watch this video till the end to enjoy this cup of tea. Okay, so here I have taken a pan which is very heavy. So make sure you don't take any sort of uh, normal non-stick pan. It should be the really good one for the Indian tea. So here I'm going to make one cup of tea and I've taken quarter cup of water. Um, so less than half cup. Make sure you don't add too much of water. So depending on the size of your cup, you have to make sure you add less than half cup of water, around quarter cup of water. Now, as the water is getting boiled, I am going to add 3 teaspoons of tea. Here I am using Indian tea. I am going to mention the name of tea, which is Vag Bakri, but I am going to write it down here. So you can go to any sort of uh, maybe Woolworths or any retail shops and I think this tea is um, exported internationally so you can find it anywhere. So we added three, just a little bit more, so three teaspoons of uh, tea. Now we'll allow it to boil. Meanwhile, I'll show you the amount of milk we are going to use. So here I am using um, full cream milk from Woolworths and you can use any full cream milk but make sure you don't use slim milk because uh, Indian teas are made with, most of the time made with full cream milk and that's what gives the real taste to it. So I'm going to take one full cup of full cream milk. milk ready on this side and you can see the tea is boiling so we'll give like a good minute uh, for the tea to boil and try to reduce the amount of water a little bit so as you can see um, the water has reduced by maybe 25% so now we're gonna use and the tea has boiled really and the, the water has got all the color from the tea so this is a good time to add the milk you won't believe but uh, in at some places of India especially north uh, they like to add cream on the top of the tea um, they want more extra creamy tea but today I'm not gonna add any extra cream because I've already taken full cream milk and um, you need to work out more if you add a lot of cream in your tea to burn all that fat okay so now we'll allow it to boil I've kept the flame on high and I'll make sure I check it all the time do not leave this here <laughs> so Let's wait for the boil. Now as you can see the tea has started boiling. We're gonna make sure we um, shake it all the time. So making sure that it doesn't comes out of the pot. you have to cook this tea like this for like 
um, 8 to 10 minutes. If you want to go somewhere, um, I would recommend to turn the heat on sim. To turn the heat down a little bit and then you can just leave it for 10 minutes. But still, it's good to check it all like every a minute after every a minute or two. Um, so it started boiling. It's been like a couple of minutes and I'm going to turn the gas on sim so we can add our sugar. Okay, so now comes the sugar time. Most of the Indians like very, very sweet tea uh, and I do the same. So I am going to add like three teaspoons of tea, sorry, sugar. Okay, I think that's, that's, that's maybe half more. Okay, so I have added three and a half teaspoons of sugar. Because this is brown sugar, it doesn't taste really that sweet like white sugar. So I'm, I have added like three and a half teaspoons instead of three. But if you're using white sugar, I would say probably use less. And um, if you're diabetic, please do not add sugar. You can choose other options like sugar free. Um, okay, so now again, I'm going to turn the gas on high to boil it for two more minutes. There are a few people, they just add the whole spices or masala in the very beginning in the water along with the tea. But what I have, um, I mean, I feel and I have noticed that if you add the masala at the end, it gives a really good flavor to the tea. So my style of making the tea will be adding all the masalas at the end and cooking it for one or two extra minutes. So... That's how it works. I have got the masala which is uh, pre-made. But you, if you don't have masala at home, you can just uh, crush two um, sort of cloves or cardamom. Depends if you like the flavor of cardamom. Cardamom is very common, so cardamom is a good option. Um, cloves are the second good option and uh, the very popular is ginger tea. You, uh, make sure you don't add the ginger paste uh, which, which comes ready made, uh, you know, pre-packed because it contains all sort of citric acid so that yeah, so that's not a good option. Uh, make sure you get the fresh ginger and uh, maybe one and a maybe half inch of ginger paste. Just crush it and add in this tea so that gives a really nice flavor. But if you don't want to buy ginger, if you have some cardamom at home, best. I love cardamom flavor. Ginger sometimes gives acidity to few, most of the people. So now um, people have started to use cardamom. And uh, maybe cloves. That's another good option. So I can see the color of my tea is really nice and brown. If you guys can see that. Uh, it's been like four to five minutes of boiling now. So what I am going to do is I'm going to turn this on sim again. Because this is electric gas, it's still, even though after turning it on sim, it's still so, so much um, hot that the tea can come out of the pot. So, okay, it has settled down. So let's add the masala. So I'm making one cup of tea so I am going to add one fourth teaspoon of garam masala. You can make it more but that will be too much of masala even though one fourth some people will think that one fourth is really too much. You can try to make it a little bit less if you like but because um, this is a really big size of cup if you are using the normal 
small size of cups for example if you're using these size of cups I would recommend less garam masala I mean less tea masala compared to what I did right now okay so so masala is in and I've given you the tips and tricks what you can do if you don't have masala handy uh, most of the international, I mean foreign countries have um, Indian grocery stores. Uh, you can find the tea masala there. Um, I have noticed many of the retail shops in um, Australia, they do sell this tea masala. So no issues with finding tea masala. So here I've mixed it well and again I'm going to turn the gas on high. So I can give two more minutes for masala to add all its flavor to our tea. So it's been two minutes and um, you can see the quantity has reduced a little bit. So all the water which we added has evaporated and uh, it has got a nice dark brown color. Uh, here you can taste the level of sugar if you want to put more sugar. But I don't think you will if you add three and a half teaspoon of sugar. So okay. Um, Alright, so it looks pretty good to me just last two boils because the thing is the more you cook this the more flavor and taste you get so I think we have cooked it for two minutes two minutes two minutes approximately eight minutes now so I'm gonna give a minute or half get a good boil and I'm go just gonna tell you that um, in India people have this tea with biscuits and rusk uh, some of them they like to have some snacks like sweet uh, spicy and savory snacks with their tea uh, but I've, I know in uh, foreign countries people eat croissant banana bread wheat bakes muffins so there's no issue with that you can still eat your wheat bakes your croissant your muffins with this tea it tastes yum uh, the only the thing is that it's too much of sweetness if you eat the muffin and this tea it will be too much of sweetness for you so yeah see what works for you uh, I normally prefer using croissant so here my tea is ready I've turned the gas off and we are gonna pour it in this cup So use some sort of strainer like this. This is the basic Indian style. You can add the spoon, you can use the spoon to help. Wow, that smells yum. Okay, so most of the time they take all the tea. Make sure you don't leave any of the tea particles. <laughs> Squeeze it and get all your tea out of it. That's a really good flavor actually. Alright, so you can see uh, I didn't even get full cup. I just got like a little bit less than full cup but that's worth if you cook it more the nice flavor you get but if you if you have some tea left even after you filled your cup it means there was still some water which was not cooked so this is perfect you could you can cook a little bit less to have one cup but eight minutes i would stick to eight minutes cook 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 until you get some, get a nice tea so there is our morning tea so this tea is ready, um, it's a really good morning today so I just thought to share this video with you guys because um, I have lots of Aussie friends who actually love Indian tea and some of them they do go for special classes how to see how to make Indian tea. So here I've given very good details about how to make Indian tea and uh, 
if you like this video please give a big thumbs up and do comment if you have any questions or any good suggestions um, do share this video with uh, all your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos and now I'm gonna enjoy my tea with croissant it's very good combination okay let me fit it like that delicious combination you will love this I normally go with wheat bix and uh, or croissant because uh, okay that's all for the today's video hope you guys liked it have fun bye bye